F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews where friends request friends to watch Fargo season five, episode six, titled the tender trap okay okay right a tender trap i mean the only person i know to set traps is is the tiger you know the tiger she she sets her booby traps that you know may or may not be so tender so i don't know exactly who they talking about here or what they talking about but i do know one thing for sure they came and tried to snatch up the hubby got the wrong person uh buddy the law enforcement guy roy tillman he finally met face to face with mama lion um so i really want to see what that's going to blossom into and yeah i'm just i'm just ready to get uh more into it and obviously i got my eyes on the hitter too we didn't get to see him last episode i hope he makes an appearance this one how you feeling over there Bradley? um i feel good going into this next episode you know last episode they had some you know some tense moments there but obviously you know Roy and his and his people keep taking L after L, and this is just you know another L that they gotta take. Um, also, too, uh, the tigre, the tiger, she basically went over to I forget her name, but the officer's Homestead. crib, Homestead. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep, and basically <clears throat> she asked her to watch the kid for her. So I'm wondering how that relationship is gonna blossom because there's got to be something there in order for all of this to work out at the end of the road. So, right. hopefully that's the case here. But I'm ready, man. Let's get it. And hey, look, he ready. I'm ready. I know y'all ready. So, we ain't going to hold it any longer. We just going to fly right in. Y'all know what to do with the video. Drop your likes. Comment down below. And most importantly, subscribe. The goal is 10K. Click the button. Click the bell. Get notified. When we go live. Let's far go. These niggas talking out of their neck. Oh, the tender the trap tender is a trap. club, Oh, huh? y'all about to pull me in. They about to pull in a young tender? <laughs> Tenderoni. Old oh, heads <laughs> out here looking for them young tenderonis. Ooh. Oh, shit. I know there's at least one dancer in there that's got a restraining order against you, Vivian. Damn. 500 feet. That's not... You got old information, Sheriff. Mm. You two kids get home safe, huh? See you at the Alex on Thursday. Huh. He said, we don't want no parts of this, buddy. We out of here. Was he speaking English? Yeah, he said, see you at the Alps oh. on Thursday. What, what the fuck, Roy? Oh, damn, yeah, my shirt too? Shit anymore, Roy. So you know what happens in moments of life and death is that everything comes into focus. Are you focused, Vivian? Full. I'm locked in. You're not going to sell your bank to that woman. Oh, okay. Find some other way to get rich. We're clear? Yeah. Damn. Let me just do it now. I want you to do a little dance. Uh, you're perfect. I'm already feet. doing one. <laughs> the L dance. Because you're taking another one. Nobody wants to see that. I thought he was about to shoot at his feet. Have about to dance. Nah. He, 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 the, the one who's really dancing is, is Roy. He's the one who's taking a, a huge L right now because he's going against Lion. The, the woman that just put him in his place, you're going to really go against her? It's a wrap. Yeah, that's, that's going to be interesting when she digs into that. Hmm? She found out who connected? Oh, yeah. My fault. We can't settle this thing today. My next call is to our litigation department. Hmm. Thank you. And debt collectors. Oh, this man, this man, sleep out there. Go sell all his clubs, all his shit. I hope a kid just throw a snowball right on his nutsack. Damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> even better. Oh, that's cool. Frosted flakes. <clears throat> Slept in the garage again? You don't have to open the door. School bus saw me in my drawers. I need you to watch her today. It's just for a few hours. Maybe you could take her to the park or what? Wait, what did you say? I said I want a wife. <laughs> Excuse me? 
a wife, someone to keep the house clean and cook. Wow. While you do what? Exactly. You know? Damn. Like, no, it takes care no. of me when I'm sick and doesn't complain about it. And I know I know what you do is important. I do. Smack him, please. Yo, she. I'm important, too. You know? My needs so I can grow yep. and be the best. A cheerleader <laughs> is what I'm... He needs a cheerleader, not a wife. There you go. That's a perfect word for it. Is that all? <laughs> No, I knew it. I got a I want a journal. wife who takes care of my other needs, mm. my man needs. Mm. You're not a man. I want a wife who's on the pill. Damn. I can't take the pill. I get blood clots. Well, an IUD then. <laughs> wow. Wow. I gotta be everything around here all the time. The man <laughs> and the wife. And the bitch. Yeah, you are a bitch. Cause. Your job is hard and you're always saying you have to pick up extra shifts. To pay for your bum ass. We are $192,000 in debt. Oh mm. my God. In that. You just suck. Damn. You suck at that. This man does but not know how to wife. talk. No, he don't. He sucks at golf and everything else in life. What am I supposed to do with her? And with niggas I like got this. physical therapy and I'm supposed to walk the green at two, my guru says, so I can pay it with my eyes shut. You're a big boy. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. You're a man, right? This fool. <laughs> they really threw that in there. Like. I mean, they didn't have to throw it in there because we already knew about it. Exactly. Like, but at the same time. They said we're going to double down on this. I'm glad that they did. Now we know exactly where he stands and what person needs to get body next. By accident. It's always an innocent person that gets killed in it. Mm. Would it be him? Damn. What y'all doing out here? They beating on a dude they done stole. <laughs> the wrong dude. For real. <laughs> I'll kill you, fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Still talking that shit, though. I give him that. Eight times quid bro quo. <laughs> Just the way he talk. <laughs> Eight times. The twins think so too. We want to watch cartoons. Hey, that's facts. Don't talk back to your mother. <laughs> the hell? They looking like they belong in The Shining. I'm Wayne Lyon in Lion Motors. Oh, oh. now he know. Oh, oh. it's in my mother's napkins. Now it's ten o'clock in the morning. I think these girls have something better to do than sit here watch TV like a couple of welfare queens. Damn. So far, this episode is going hard on the men who deserve to die. Oh, you were that crazy sweet. And here comes another man that deserves to die. Alicante's missing. Useless piece of Nothing shit. Here. Very funny. Got Nadine's husband in the box when you're ready. I'm Nadine's husband. <laughs> no. I can't wait husband. till we see this man's face. Uh, uh, you think he's going to get a punch, pieces. slap? We don't recognize this later. Mm. Lift it up, head first. <laughs> <laughs> just have that man whole body just crunch on him like a accordion. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Let me tell you what I told these Still other two morons. Yo, here a real one. Kidnapped the wrong chump. Damn. Yeah, you're dead, bro. I thought this one was supposed to stay in the car. Yeah. So you're a lip too. That's not him, genius. You grabbed the wrong Patsy. What? No, I was in the car. <laughs> 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 Son, you got a bad luck problem. Mm. Somewhere out there, there's an upside down horseshoe with your name on it. I just want my game as well. All right, I think I know where you got that thorn in your paw. Get the car. Where are we going? To pay the boogeyman. Mm, he's gonna pay him. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. I see what he's saying there. Yep, yep. Are you gentlemen quite certain I can't offer you a gimlet? Uh -huh. No. He said gentlemen. <laughs> you ever see that movie, The um, Nightmare Before Christmas? <laughs> that's, that's a weird movie. A very long time ago. I want to say I, I dreamed it, but in real life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your wife isn't who she says she is. Dorothy Lyon? Uh, that's what we call an alias in our line of work. What do you mean she's not my wife? Uh, no, no. Oh, this might 
flip a switch. To activate. He's yeah. Look how heavy he breathing. She talking to this Indira man like Olmstead, he's slow. Scandia PD. You've probably got a dozen messages from your new machine. We're right in the middle of an interview, officer. Yep. Well, I just seen the on person you're looking case. for. And believe me, you're gonna want to hear what I've got to say on the matter. Exactly. Have, have you seen my wife? No, sir. We're done here. You feel me, Mr. Lyon? Mr. Lyon. Uh, we'll we'll circle back. Officer. Thank you so much. They both done been electrocuted recently. <laughs> Ballerino, like, it's been enabling that? this kid. For real. That's why he act like that. It's his daddy fault. I was gonna say I want to get to that level where I could just bring margaritas like wherever I go. In the middle of the uh, the hospital and shit. You know what like, room, but after seeing the way he talked, now I'm good. Mm. Here's your money. Please lift the curse. I don't think so. Hmm. We tried killing him. Now we're bailing water out of a sinking boat. Yep. We need to take luck out of the equation. Period. End of story. Yeah, lift this curse. Okay, I like that. Lift the curse. Oh man, coming with the full coat, Elden Ring jaunt. That shit look fire. It's one of the reasons why I love winter, man. The drip is just crazy. Like, like look at that. Let me see your hands. <laughs> Yeah, he smacked the cigarette. He know better. <laughs> this man don't need no gun or cigarettes to take you out, but we have business. Hmm. Christ, look at the cock on that monster. Straight to business. Meat is meat. Plus interest, because we got sideways. Never had a problem before or since breaking a woman, but that one, she's. Hmm. What'd you call her? Tiger, right? I like his voice. <sighs> Probably ought to let her be. Exactly. No. When a man digs a grave, he has to feel it. Otherwise, it's just a hole. Okay. Okay. So, are we signing gonna... this man off or? Or is he saying he already dug a grave, so he needs to fill it with one of these mugs? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, are you are you back on? Please, please, just one good one. Right in the kisser. Happy now, shitbird. <laughs> boy complains when the toy breaks or the knee is skinned. Fuck that. You're the one who's gonna be crying. A man knows better. The things that happen happen. You don't yell at the boulder for being a rock. Hmm. I'll see you soon, asshole. One thing for sure, mm. oh, he got you. One thing Put for a sure. tracker on his okay. shit. Okay. I'm like, what he starting all this trouble for? Because he want to get his ass for. Oh, yo, that man, man got like... the. Yo, he got the. Look like some shit from Austin Powers, nigga. No, the No Country for Old Men. Is that the same one? It look almost identical. That's it, turquoise. Do you know where she is? I do not. But what about the abuse? The fact that he used to beat her? Or the current crimes, kidnapping attempts? Conspiracy to kill a North Dakota state trooper. Hmm. Nothing? I say that we get a warrant and go there today. Now. He already did. Then we showed our hand. He closes ranks. Mr. Seymour ends up thrown off a cliff somewhere in Wyoming, never to be seen again. <laughs> yeah. You help me, I help you. And we all help Dorothy. You know, the victim. <laughs> she about to be a fucking these? child prodigy and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, Watch the that. chambers. Yeah. How come? It's not a toy, it's a tool. Then why do they say play the drums? That's a good point. You gotta go out. I see my physical therapist. Is that your side piece? Gotta be. Don't burn the house down. I'd have been on them drums ASAP. Yo, that's exactly, there we go. Bad liar. Okay. 
there's this. What's that? What is uh, it? It's a, it's a dress shirt, I think. It's pink. Uh, someone dropped this off for you at reception. It's monogrammed. So it is. VD. Oh, and got this note. Hmm. Security saw this? Yeah. And what's with the silver star? Yep. Thanks, the deal's off. Yep, see, no. Thanks Smart. to Dorothy's husband. This is tit for that. Hmm. Tit for tat. What you gonna do, don't? What you gonna do, big boss? Can't wait to see where her next move is. How are you feeling? Confused. I thought you were taking him to the house. Yes, ma'am, but he wanted to see you. Uh-oh, you got some questions. Your wife burned the house down. I told him, but he keeps asking for her. Mrs. Lyon. She, she went out of town for a few days. Sightseeing. They said you're supposed to rest. So, Jerome's gonna take you home. We made up your old room. We got out all your stuffies. Stuff. I'll be home later and make him visit. Maybe disrespecting this man. Um, Mom, I would. I would. <sighs> Why are all the men like this in this in this season? This man is a waste of a character in this season. He's a waste of a fucking human body. Get Vivian's cell phone number. I don't care how. Exactly. And then gas up the Porsche. Mm. Where am I going? Where are we going? Because I'm coming with. To steal an election. Ooh. Mm. She said you want to oh, play around? Shit. Exactly. You want to play around? Yeah. I got big money that buys Show anybody me. that you got. Nice. Already Look better than her husband. Hey, this is a nice kit. Oh, it ought to be. Cost enough. Mm -hmm. mm. Where's Lars? He left. He Physical therapy or something. Did you bring dinner? She's snitching. What was the last thing you ate? Sausage I had plates. some crackers before. Uh. Like at lunch. Okay, then. Let's get your stuff. Where are we going? To Grandma's. Mmm. Facts, cause I can't do it. Get some soul food. Oh yeah, and the chef making a special tonight. She said. Fire! I want this type of money, but not this right. type of activities. Like. But now we see more and more why Wayne is is Wayne, son. Just like his daddy. Daddy. This man don't even know he got you a remember? kid. Remember? <laughs> That's what I say. You remember you got a daughter? Hey. Who are you? <clears throat> mm. Uh oh. Offer her some money. Oh, give her some money, please. Yeah, right. Help she her out with her, her debt. Yeah, pay off the debt. Help her out with the Tillman. And then kick Probably. that man out the crib. What? Did her mother have her turning tricks outside the Save Mart? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> Don't do that. Women who apologize for things that aren't their fault might as well have welcome mat written on their faces. Damn. Mm. Damn. That's the history of your daughter in law. Written in punches and chokeholds. Mm. People who claim to be victims are the downfall of this country. Mrs. Lyon, <laughs> have Completely you agree. in your life? Nah, not when you're actually a victim, right? That's different, though. She said play victim. You're saying if a woman is abused and she manages to escape, she should move to the woods, live in a tree, <laughs> free from the burdens of basic human contact? I don't like your tone. Tough shit. Mm. Some of us work for a living and go home to empty houses or, or houses that should be empty but are instead filled with the dirty underpants of our man child spouses. Mm -hmm. She projecting like shit. I know you don't want to see it, but let me tell you what I see. I see a woman who outsmarted two kidnappers who won't be silenced and unlike you, who never complains, mm. even when her mother in law has her committed to a mental hospital. Mm. So I brought you her file, so at least you could be an educated asshole. Ooh. There you go. You can stay an asshole, but at least no. Come work for me. There you go. Yep. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. You saw the security team. All those dicks. No, come run the security team. Be their boss. I know you need the money. Mm. Name your price. 200000 That's 
250, actually. I want to go on vacay. It's kind of you. No, it's not. It's smart. <laughs> Take the job. She's like, I ain't. I'm, I'm anything but kind. She's out there somewhere. She's not asking for help. But she needs it. Mm. All right, Olmstead. It's a strong episode for you. Mm-hmm. Real strong. 24 hours. Ooh. That's how the world works. This brief window. I give it. I, yeah, that's true. 24 hours is still even long. Oh, I bet you didn't think you were going to say that and mean it when you walked in here. Nah. All right. That is a hell of an offer, though. Like, what, what qualifications does she have to run a team that's around the world at that? It's one thing to run a local team. Motherfuckers around the whole world? I'm pulling the offer. That hundred million dollars is going to Mesa Prudential. Out in Flagstaff. This is why. Quiet. A grown up is talking. <laughs> I called the SEC chairman personally. Two dozen federal agents are in your office seizing your books. So. I hope you didn't give all your walking around money to that stripper. Mm. Damn. Your son is starting his freshman year Damn. at um, Notre Dame. Except you're late on tuition. Mm. So, hmm, all that ring you hear, that's your son on the other line. Oh, uh, Damn. So congratulations. The sheriff's not going to kill you. Instead, you're going to live the rest of your days in squalor, surrounded by the dead-eyed stares of your futureless children. Damn. <sighs> yeah. She's the true definition of a big boss. Have a nice night. I mean, he can't because you took the girl away and you got the bread, too. Yep. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. More than learn a thing or two. Drop a tear. Oh, damn. Whoa. Mm hmm. Go ahead and drop that tear. I see it. Nah, she ain't crying. Nah, she about to. You ain't see that, that swallow. She. Nah. Nah. See, she that's why balls. they had to cut the credits. They was like, we can't. We can't let them see her cry. Because she took the mean so ass swallow. You know, that was the relationship one. abuse in any form help is available. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. Yep, yep. yep. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Got to get a domestic violence. Can't be having uh, one. All right. There you have it. Fargo Season 5, Episode 6 in the books. The Tender Trap. I like that. I like that it was a cool title you know what i'm saying yep. there was a couple people that that actually did place a couple of little traps around but for the most part it was about a strip club and uh where we basically located the person that we needed to locate this episode mr vivian um so this was a pretty cool episode but i can't lie i did want a little bit more like because i i feel i feel what what mrs lyon did to vivian i'm just like okay that's cool but how does that have like like how does that directly impact tillman you know what i'm saying like i don't think it does because it doesn't you feel me like and and that's that's what i want i want to see her start to directly impact mm -hmm. tillman you know yep, yep. um but i'm here for it though season five it, it still has some interesting things that are going on here um and they're obviously touching on you know tough subjects domestic violence and stuff like that so that's very very serious shout out to olmstead she held it down this episode really put her foot down trying to paint that picture of the reality of the situation that dorothy isn't the person that like we shouldn't be looking for dorothy as if she's you know an opportunity like she's an actual victim and we need to be you know understanding of that um but yeah it's a pretty good episode how you feeling over there about it i'm feeling great this episode was was good man um you know even without the you know action or you know some of the bigger stuff i think what they laid out in this episode was really good um from big boss to roy's side i think they played all at, of course the one person we didn't get to see in this episode was dorothy which is kind of interesting you know um interesting 
way of going about an episode is not to have the protagonist there. So that's kind of, I, 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 I like that because we did get to see other people's, you know, more into their lives, you know, with Homestead. And then on top of that, you know, just the big boss and what she's up to. So, Homestead. yeah, overall, I enjoyed this episode. I thought it was really good. Homestead, no H, bye. Homestead? Yeah. Homestead, not nah, Homestead. I, I, I pronounce all the silence. It ain't a silent, though, because it ain't even there. <laughs> <laughs> that just lets you know. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Um, but let's hop in, man. So first things first, I mean, they, they, they opened us right where we needed to be, basically, with that damn... The situation with a buddy from the hospital. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need to we need to clear that up because let's be real like they snatched the raw guy and yeah we needed to clear that up we, we didn't want that to just linger for episodes because it would have just been useless information but i would at least say that it is kind of it's just a real interesting dynamic with, with this son man like he like i get that you know he's in his daddy's footsteps but I mean, his daddy's shadow, but he's just like, <laughs> he just don't get it, bruh. And it's funny because I'm sitting there when they show um, Wayne on the commercial and Roy yeah. sees him and shit. So Roy's able to identify him. I, I completely forgot that Buddy did actually see the husband to his, to his, I guess to his defense, like it was a hectic night. So I think it's fair to say, like, I didn't get the best look on him mm -hmm. but i completely forgot about that so like the fact that roy brought it up i was just like oh yeah bro you you were literally there the, the first 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 night bro like so he is just slipping on his game but you know he said you know i'm you know i'm not this pupil and, and roy addressed the whole buddy i forgot his name yo this is well yeah they call him the boogeyman it's something ain't it munch or something yeah it's munch i think I think it's Munch, bro. I'm gonna just go with that. I'm, I'm pretty confident, <laughs> but that that brought that brought Munch back. So I was kind of happy yep. to, to kind of see that all play back, play out because I'm just like, you know, where is Munch? What's going on with that? What's gonna happen? But I mean, short long story short, they paid him off officially. You know, hopefully that takes off the big curse. But the son still be pushing his shit, and then threw his little tender trap on there you know through the little gps so what do you what, what, what you think they're gonna do with it do you think that was the son thinking or do you think roy was like this is what we should be doing it's the son the son he's he is the reason why he's taking so much else he's not yeah. he's not built for this job and then on top of that i i do kind of agree with you i wish these episodes were a little bit longer because there, you know, we didn't get that much of the hitman in this episode. Yeah, we did At get all. a kind of, yeah. you know, them kind of patching it up somewhat, you know. But I wanted more, like, when it came to him. Yeah, we patch it up, but we didn't get the definitive. Is he going to continue the job? You know, like, what's what, what's he doing now? Like, what's what's his mission after this? Um, is it to fill the hole? Is that, you know, is that where we're going? So, yeah. I did, I did like that they addressed it because, yeah, it does seem like ever since they not paid him, things have been going kind of, you know, kind of not good. So, yeah, um, he did that ritual. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. But like I said, that young boy, I can't wait for the day to come. <laughs> when we turn it might be that months episode, that do it, too. It might would, be months that like do that. it. I would like that. I would like that. Because uh, I don't think I don't any, know. like, I don't, like, who else would would do it? Like, and, and feel, and, like, it'd it, it be impactful, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Because yeah. I feel like he's been fucking with Munch way too much. Like, at this point, we want to see Munch take his ass out. Yes, like, yes. <laughs> that would be a, a, a chef's kiss. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing, too, is the FBI agents. Like, they're just so useless. Okay, because... Not only do they have video footage of, they have video footage of them taking the guy out the room, right? I don't know if it was video, but I think they had some still photos, maybe. If you got still photos, that means you took it from a video. So, you have video evidence of Roy's son being there, 
and his henchmen. So to me, that's like a that's a W right there. There you go. You got it. You feel me? You got literally them pulling an innocent man into this whole chaos. So I feel like they 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 can easily wrap this up, but did I really know much with them? They need more. There's so many cases yeah. or situations of motherfuckers getting off for some wild stuff, like or just only serving a little bit of time for, you know, because they they want him for so much bigger. I I think that's the thing. Like with the FBI, it's never about just immediate results. Like they building cases for like years on your ass before they finally, you know, come to try to throw the hammer down. Like so, I, I guess I can't blame them. Like I, I like especially when they started laying out the information. Like this is what we want Dorothy for. We want you know X Y Z and blah blah mm. blah. I'm just like, all right. Like I do feel that. But I like, it. I like uh, that reason though. Yeah, yeah. I like the reason. But I, I get I get you too though. Like it, you're right. Like it does it, it does kind of rub you the wrong way sometimes when you're just like, bruh, it's right there. You just just grab it. Just fucking Please. grab it. Like that's kidnapping. I mean, yeah, yeah it, it 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 doesn't tie Roy to it, mm-hmm. but it kind of does. So I feel like it could get the ball rolling. So I mean, it is what it is. Eventually we're gonna see what they're you know, how they're gonna play their hand. Are they eventually going to end up like, you know, buddies from like season one? Do. Yeah. Are they going to end up like that? Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, I just think this, this, this enough there to at least get some of his henchmen off the, the street. So mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah. You know, we, we also didn't get the other cop neither this episode. Yeah. So that was one thing that I wasn't too worried about. I kind of feel like I'm already like forgetting about him slightly. Like not not like in a bad way, y'all. Don't don't be offended, but like I really thought he was gonna be a little bit of a saving grace for for Dorothy, and he still has that potential, right? Like there there still could be something that comes up, but it just feels like Olmstead really took the uh, the reins on like being the the important cop to kind of follow throughout yep, this yep. season. Um, so I don't know when or or if he even does show up again. I'm pretty sure he will because it's not like they wrote off his story or anything. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be interesting because I just feel like like I don't know, like I just want a little bit more like I don't and I don't know exactly what it is that I want more of, but it just kind of feels like we're only getting like just small little tidbits of everybody. And it could end up all coming together very well, but it might, it might not, neither. So I'm kind of yeah. worried about that, nah, slightly. I agree. I agree. I think these episodes are way too short. Um, like the the episode said it was 48 minutes, right? But yeah. The beginning yeah. we had you know a minute for intros and all that shit, and then at the end it was like two three minutes. So we yeah. really only got like 44 minutes. So it's like, I I. I think if they push it like 10, you know, 10 minutes more in the, in these episodes, I feel like we will be a little bit more satisfied because there's still, there's still a lot here on the table to really deal with in four episodes. Mm-hmm. So it's like you, when they, when, when TV shows do this, you always have that question. Can they, can they answer all the questions that we want answered and can they land it? Can they land it at the end? So. Yeah, I, I agree with you, man. They they definitely they need we need more. Yeah. But I would say what answers what answers do we want right now though? Right? Like we wanna like I know for a fact I wanna know just the true backstory of Munch. Like like I wanna know what the fuck he's all about. Like I'm sorry. I need at least five to eight minutes of that. Like <laughs> cause I'm confused by the the mystery. Um mm-hmm. Obviously, I want a conclusion to the Tillman Dorothy stuff, but like I that's th- that's gonna come regardless. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you feel me? Like, um, I think we did get an answer in this episode a little bit more about Dorothy because yeah, we did know a little bit about her situation with Roy, but this kind of put it into a different perspective when we see the photos and. Like yeah. What type of abuse we're talking about? We ain't talking about regular abuse. This is, this is next level. Like, yeah. You know, we seen him hit his wife early on in the episode, in front of the kids. Mm-hmm. Um, so in front you know, of the daughters. Yes, like exactly. So, 
yeah, I, I, I think they, I don't know what it is. I guess it's because we, I guess it's, I just want more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just want more of this, but I, I do like what they laid out here in this episode with, you know, kind of giving us more with Dorothy and, and, and of course I just, I, I, I enjoy the big boss character. I think she's, she's a fire yeah, character. Line. Yeah. Miss Lyon, she fire. Fire, yeah. fire. Yeah, she a beast. She a beast. And then they gave us a little bit more into the Olmstead situation. Um, pretty much, like, if we already didn't like this guy, I mean, let's go ahead and just double down on the feelings that we're <laughs> supposed to have for him. Because, yeah, that man just wild out, bro. Like, this dude is basically doing nothing, bringing in, like, no bread. No bread on the table, like, yep. but then starts demanding what he expects and wants from a wife like or like he said he wants a cheerleader um Pretty much. Yeah. yeah he let the, the true feelings out and then i don't know like I'm, I'm not gonna say a man can't put on you know cologne and shit like that wherever he goes sometimes i throw on some cologne when i go to the supermarket just you know just to fill myself a little bit I throw um, cologne but when I come to reaction sometimes you feel me like it's just sometimes <laughs> yeah, it is like, what it is it feel good yeah, but yeah, uh yeah. my buddies are just just from the way he's been carrying himself talking about uh especially since he actually brought up the sexual needs yep. when he was talking about her um Man, or at least what he wants from a wife uh just looking suspect Man, man looking suspect. suspect. It's not suspect. So. We know exactly what that man doing. Okay. Yeah, we do. Uh, I, all we needed was for him to grab the condoms out the door, out the out the the freaking cabinet shit, and just be like, Mm-mm. "Yep." Uh, oh, what he said? A girl on the pill. He don't need condoms. Exactly. He don't even need them. Yeah. He raw so, dogging. I mean, I kind of see already where that where this is going, uh, especially with Olmstead freaking. Getting that offer at the end there, potentially mm-hmm. becoming someone uh, who might have time to be a, you know, be a wife. That's something that's also potentially on the table with that job because, you know, she don't have to do OT to get money for the for the crib and all that. So, yeah, I would love for that to be the case here for her to actually get that job and um, yeah, but she needs to she need to get rid of buddy man. He he. he it's okay. Listen, I'm not saying it's not okay to have dreams. It's okay to have dreams, but you need to take care of your own your own responsibilities, and you need to take care of the people you love and cherish, aka your wife. Like you feel me? So I feel like hopefully something happens there. I want. I wonder what they're gonna do with that. Like what type of yeah. what type of res? You know resolution that they're gonna have with this character um yeah. is it just gonna be like you know a dump you know or is they're gonna kind of go far go with it um i would love for that to happen though. yeah now that's that is an interesting question because uh yeah like what the hell because they're married so mm-hmm. a sep- you know to to split would be divorce or separation so that's that's heavy you know at the end of the day yep. um and then I think one cool thing for sure outside of just the job offer itself is just kind of some of those little, you know, little personality gems that that lion is trying to drop on her. You know, don't say sorry and, and, you know, don't do this, like, don't do that. Mm -hmm. So if she does get close to her and does work for her, she might be able to pick up on some of that and help put her foot down a little bit because yep. it's not like she doesn't put her foot down i mean we we can't say we haven't seen too 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 much she kinda... but she definitely doesn't like she doesn't um what's the word i would say like i don't know she just kind of goes with it i would say like all that shit that he she was that he was saying to her she was just like fuck it like nigga, i gotta go to work like i'm gonna just i'm not even gonna address this shit. you know what i'm saying like so maybe when she gets some more Oomph from Mrs. Lion, she'll start addressing that shit. Like, nigga, you want this? How about you do this? How about I, I got needs too? You ain't eat my tortini for the past fucking <laughs> ten years. Of course, I ain't letting you nothing. Shot, you know what I'm saying? Like, she just kind of ate all that shit and just yeah, kept facts, it moving. Like, facts. I so, mean, it's kind of understandable too because you know you got a kid in the living room, so yeah, you and know? you got to go to work. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. she know the truth. She like, nigga. Like, it kind of feel crazy being talked to like that. Like, nigga, you're a piece of shit, bro. Like, what the fuck are we talking about here? So, so, nah, it do make sense. But I I am curious to see if her character evolves a little bit uh, throughout these next few episodes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like, 
has she always wanted to be a cop? Like, you know, it's it's not always about the money for some people. Like, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, I would, yeah. I would like her to see. I would like her to make that switch because I do want her to have a little bit of a good story. It doesn't seem, so it doesn't seem like things are working for her at all. At all. I mean, one hundred ninety thousand is that. That's a lot. Can you imagine? It's a lot, bro. Can yeah, most people that? aren't gonna be able to pay that off in their lifetime. You know what I'll do? Remember that whole uh, munch was talking about? Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> I'm doing the, I'm doing, I'm doing the Sopranos with the dirt. Like. <laughs> Just cover Don't myself. I might as well just, I might as well just end it right now, bro. The country hustle. Put the little flower pot on your shit. <laughs> <laughs> when the axe gang come through, Facts. Like, like ain't no point of going on after that. Like especially when you, you married to someone and they ain't really doing what they need to do on their end to kind of make things a little bit easier. Yeah, that's just that's crazy to me. Yeah. Um, one thing I definitely want to touch on, uh, obviously doesn't even have to take too much time because we didn't see anything that's going on, but you did bring it up and I think it was a good point, is that Dorothy wasn't even in this episode. Like, we know she dropped off her kid mm -hmm. and she went to go do what she had to do. Yep. And the only thing you can assume is she's dropping off her kid that this way she has room to maneuver the way she need to maneuver out here. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm really, really kind of curious to the next time we see her what she's gonna be getting up to yep, the yep. tiger you know what i'm saying so just a little you know, i'm pretty sure the next episode we're getting right back to her oh fast. um but she a beast though she a beast but you know what you know what is crazy though outside of um outside of um what you had mentioned earlier about seeing the photos like put you know putting everything into into reality for us of how this man's been treating Dorothy in the past. He even said it himself this episode. Like he said that he's tried to bury her many times. Like, um, so that's just that. crazy. Like, he did say that. Yeah, Damn, like I just even, thinking. I didn't about even that. put that together. Yeah. Damn. Like so. <laughs> that's why she looks so bad in those photos because he really did try to bury her. Like. Yeah. Whether that be literally or just the amount of times he's attempted to kill her um but yeah he's definitely said that he he's, he's tried to take her out multiple multiple times so that's just wild to think about because <clears throat> this again didn't happen after she disappeared it's not like she disappeared and then he's you know every once a year he's run into her and found a way to you know do her dirty like this is literally while they were together like he was yeah. putting her through all this shit, and then she got a fucking break for a whole 10 years like so Obviously, we want her to win this battle, which I'm pretty sure she will. Who knows, though? Who knows yep. what Fargo is going to try to do? Um, but, yeah, I can't wait to see her next episode to see where she's at, like how activated she is, basically. But I think that's it for me. Like, you know, Roy tried to do his little his little shit with Vivian, but obviously that ain't work out. Um, but again, I want to see Mrs. Lyon do something that's really going to hurt Roy because she told Slick Rick, you know, hey, we got an election or whatever to deal with so i'm assuming something is coming yeah um, definitely so i want to see that i can't wait to see that because she's she's powerful she got money and she knows people just like roy knows people she know people too um so it's gonna be a, a it's gonna be a good battle it ain't gonna be some easy just you know giving a woman a backhand type shit because that's what roy is used to he's he gonna be dealing with a lion out here mm. so i'm looking forward to that yeah um, I, I, I think I think uh, the whole big boss kind of doing her thing at the end there with uh, we say his name is Vivian. Viv yeah, the dude that the yeah. dude that she was trying to buy the bank from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vivian. Yeah. I, I, I loved I love her stance because it just I'm, I'm loving this character more and more and more because she's really standing on business. You know what I'm saying? She. We saw her last uh, episode having a conversation with them and basically removing and detaching their balls from them. And mm -hmm. and she basically told them, like, y'all either going to do this. If y'all don't, y your lives are pretty much over. Yeah. And she did not disappoint, not one bit. She went above and beyond uh, this man, you know, so um, stopped all his assets. He ain't got no money coming through. And then on top of that, son is getting... Um, yeah, he's getting the big boot. So, yeah. 
That's where she went too hard. <laughs> nah, nah. She nah, needs to nigga, make sure you're ruining he a kid's life. Is listen, that's fucked up. Nigga. If your daddy's in this position and your daddy's the reason you over there, you need to come at your poppy because he fucked up big time. He should never be trying to get tenderized, like you know. If he I mean, stay I feel focused, that, but we don't all gotta pay for our daddy's sins, man. Uh, this man, he's he still could, sinning. He, I don't know. He could not be known. He could. He could be a just a. Innocent young man don't know a damn thing about what his daddy do. He probably now, is. He no, game he, over. He definitely is an innocent young lad. But now he big man. <laughs> he about to be in them streets, man. Them Fargo syndicates trying to get some bread. <laughs> oh man, but um, yeah, I think this episode was a good one, man. I I, I enjoyed it. it. It's got me excited to see what's what's to come. So I think whenever that happens, I think they they did a good job with it. So um. I'm going to give this episode a, a, I think a nice, like, I think an A5. Like I said, I, I really enjoyed it, even without the action. I think this is a, a solid episode here. thought it was dope. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, Pretty good. Definitely excited for what's to come next. I'm going to give this one an 8. I think it's just right there where it needs to be. Um, They got some more foundation laid out. Really interested in how Sun is gonna run up on months. Like I, I agree with Brolic. He's definitely doing that on his own. I think he's just trying to he just trying to prove to Daddy that he can handle things and that'll never work out. So great scores across the board. It's an eight and an eight five. If you're still here rocking with us, we appreciate y'all so much. Y'all keep us moving and grooving, baby. You know what to do with the video. Drop your likes, comment down below, let us know what you thought about this episode. Most importantly, if you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. We also have full length watch alongs. But of course, you got to bring your own copy. Patreon link will be in the descriptions down below. FWR out, y'all. Peace.